how are you all doing? I hope you're all fine. I am fine too. I thank God. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, may God bless you for returning back here to watch my videos. I really appreciate much. But if it's your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click on that notification bell. You will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you'll always enjoy every content that I upload in this channel. So friends, the moment has come that most of you have been waiting for. <laughs> you who have been asking me, Bella, when are you starting? I am starting today. And if now you're asking yourself, what is that Bella? What are you starting? <laughs> From today, guys, I'm going to be bringing you the profiles of single ladies that are searching for their match. So if you are a single guy out there, I know exist men who have been to online dating apps, but due to the challenges that they have been facing, can't find a genuine lady. Or some of you single guys, you find yourselves on online dating apps, and then when you go through women's profiles, you're like, ah, I don't think these ladies are real. <laughs> So you end up giving up. That is why I have decided to bring these single ladies here for you. So this is your great chance to find your soulmate, to find your match. And for those of you who have been following me here, now you are confused. So Bella, we won't be able to see story times. <laughs> oh Bella, what about online dating tips? <laughs> Are you not going to be sharing such kind of videos anymore? The answer is I am going to keep on bringing to you story times, <laughs> giving you online dating tips and at the same time bringing you single ladies that are searching for their match. My intention guys is for you to find love. It doesn't matter where you are going to find that love, whether it will be on Bella's matchmaking whether it will be on Instagram, Facebook, or online dating apps, it doesn't matter. Important you find that true love that you are searching for. So what I'm asking you guys is for your continuous support in this and in all of my other content that I will be bringing to you guys. Like I told you guys, I'm not leaving behind anyone. We are in this together, okay? <laughs> so guys, before I present to you our first single lady that is searching for her match, her soulmate, <laughs> I want to make things clear here so that you all can understand. The single ladies that I'll be presenting to you on my channel, searching for their match, first of all, they are not desperate. So don't think that these ladies are very, very desperate. That is why they decided to come on Bella's matchmaking. No, they are not desperate. They are at their happy place now, living their life. Like you know guys, love is very, very important. So you can have everything in life, but if you don't have someone to love you, you feel like you're missing something to complete your life. So that is why these ladies have decided to come here to put themselves out there so that they can find their match. Yeah, that is number one. So no one is desperate here. <laughs> number two, these ladies are independent. So don't think you start chatting with this lady that you meet here on Bella's matchmaking and then she'll start asking you money or financial support. No, these ladies are searching for true love. They've got their own jobs or they are working class ladies. Number three, no one wants to run away from her country or from her hardship life. <laughs> Like I said, these ladies are very, very independent. They are working class ladies. So if you're going to chat, let's take an example. You're in a long distance relationship. Of course, eventually you guys have to meet. Of course, eventually you guys have to talk on where you are going to live. So I don't want some people to start saying, all these ladies are looking for a way to run away from their countries. Not at all. And as I bring their 
profiles, you will understand better about these ladies. Number four, some of these ladies that I'll be bringing to you, I've been working with them for quite some time now. Some of them two years, some of them a year, we have been communicating, so I know what I am presenting to you. If you've been out there, you have not been, you know, lucky to find someone real, someone to give you true love, I am going to be presenting to you a lady that will match what you are searching for or what you are looking for. So let me hope now I am clear and I know some of you are like, Bella, start now, bring her now. <laughs> so yeah, let us start. So guys, our single lady number one who is searching for her match for her soulmate is from Kenya. Yeah, so we have got this beautiful Kenyan lady by the name of Polly, 32 years old. Christian family tells us her mother is an entrepreneur and her dad is an ex-military. So in their family, they were born five, five siblings, and she is the second born. So now let's go to her education level. Polly is a graduate, has a bachelor degree in economics and statistics. And for single ladies who are out there searching, I know you'll be like, why should I watch this matchmaking show? <laughs> Guys, there will be a lot, a lot, a lot to learn from this matchmaking show. Yeah. So wait for the surprise. <laughs> watch till the end and you let me know. So guys, there are some questions that I asked Polly and I asked those questions because I know you who is watching this video, you will be asking yourself why a beautiful lady like Polly could come here to search for her match. Why is that Polly can't find a right guy, a man to love her truly in Kenya, in real life? And also, you all know exist online dating apps. So why is that? Polly can't find someone even on online dating apps and has to come here. So that is why we are going to know a bit of Polly's past love relationship experience. Then we will go to other important things which will help you know if Polly is your match or not. And if she is your match, I'm going to let you know what to do before I end this video so that you can get in contact with Polly. So guys, Polly tells us while at the university used to be this polite, good lady who didn't involve herself in relationships, you know, love relationships. But on her last year, everything changed in Polly's life because she met this Kenyan guy, a Kamba guy. They started talking, became friends, and eventually <laughs> they were in love. And because Polly was old enough to start dating, they started dating. And even after graduating, their relationship continued. It became even more stronger because this guy was the first guy in Polly's life. So Polly really loved this guy very, very much. So because they were so much in love with each other, they could be together all the time. Everything kept on going good, Polly found a job, even this Kamba guy found a job. So all was going so good in their lives and Polly knew that that guy is going to be her husband eventually. 
So after being in a relationship for one year, then started happening something that was very, very abnormal in Polly's boyfriend's life. Whenever they could be together, there is someone who could call Polly's boyfriend. And she kept on observing because she is a polite woman, never wanted to, you know, start asking the guy who is the person calling you. And she really trusted the boyfriend. So at first, it did not bother her that much. This person kept on calling. And you know, guys, a lady can be really polite, very calm, but we all should remember that <laughs> she is a human being. So when things reaches here, <laughs> She reacts, okay? So tells us one day they were out for dinner with that boyfriend and then this person happens to call. Polly was like, no, today I have to find out who is this person that has been calling you. It has been six months now. <laughs> this person is calling you, calling you, calling you, calling you. I see this number all the time. So she picked the call and we have Afro Cinema. So when Polly picked the call, on the other side, there was a lady. This lady told Polly, tell the owner of that phone that I am in labor should come at the hospital now. Oh my God. Polly was in a shock, but she is still a very calm lady told the boyfriend, this person has said, go to this hospital because she is in labor, about to have your baby. And after that, you can come so that we talk about this lady. And yes, guys, that is how it went. So this guy all along has been cheating on Polly, had another woman that he impregnated, tells us when he left, she cried a lot, was very, very disappointed and felt betrayed. I can understand her, guys. Dating a guy for that long, then you come to find out that all along has been cheating on you. Oh my goodness. It hurts. Moreover, it's the first guy in Polly's life. So after this boyfriend finished everything with the new baby mama in town, had to come back to Polly and told Polly, can we talk? Polly was like, it's late now. Let's talk tomorrow. Yes, the second day, Polly went, met this guy. The boyfriend was like, I'm very, very sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. You know, this lady seduced me, blah, 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 blah. You know, trying to clean up himself. <laughs> but for Polly, that was the end. She couldn't keep on dating the guy that betrayed her the guy that lied to her for all that long so that is how Polly's first ever relationship failed so guys it wasn't easy for Polly to move on tells us whenever the friends could ask her about the boyfriend she could start crying it was really really difficult but her family stood by her side helped her to move on this story is of six years back not a story of now so you who is interested in polly maybe after seeing her photos <laughs> don't get jealous please please <laughs> this is the past love relationship so that you get to know who is polly really <laughs> where does she come from yeah so friends to polly's dating life after breakup tells us after that breakup like i told you it wasn't easy at all because had lost trust in men so after some time you know time heals polly had trust again in men was like oh yes i think i am ready to start dating so had to put herself out there you know so that she can be found in real life but tells us came a challenge and her biggest challenge is that whenever she could go on a date with a guy in Kenya, maybe to have a coffee, it's a coffee date, as talking to the guy, her listening to the guy gave her an impression the guy is broken, is looking for, you know, someone to console him. And after that, you know, maybe take the goodies <laughs> and disappear or start ghosting her. So what she could do could end everything at that 
coffee debt couldn't want to go further because was protecting herself remember she was hurt before so that was her biggest biggest challenge and her second challenge you who is wondering what happened to polly to find love in real life tells us yes sometimes could go on a date with a guy that she really really liked you know <laughs> But after talking to that guy, it turned out that the guy rejects her. Why is that? Polly was very, very open with me and with you because she knew this information was coming here that most Kenyan guys likes big women, you know, with big bodies, big <laughs> behind. <laughs> But Polly is an average lady, doesn't have that big behind like how Kenyan men likes. So she could be rejected. And after facing lots of rejection in real life, found a friend who recommended to her about online dating. Decided to join online dating apps and try her luck. It has been one month, so you single guys, maybe you have been to online dating apps too. You have come across Polly's photo on online dating apps. Don't be like, I've seen this lady on online dating apps. <laughs> Why is that she never mentioned it? I'm mentioning it now. Yes, she has been on online dating apps. It has been one month, but within that one month tells us it has not been easy, has been coming across guys who ask her for nude photos, who ask her for phone sex, something that Polly cannot do because she respects herself very, very much. She knows who she is, how worthy, <laughs> you know, so can't just, you know, start sending nude photos to these guys that she meets on online dating apps. I told you, these ladies are not desperate, but they are searching for true love. So yes, I've tried to make it as short as possible, but if you're interested in Polly and maybe you come to be the match, <laughs> you will tell her to tell you things into details deeply <laughs> to understand better. Here, I just wanted you to get a picture of why Polly is here. So after me announcing that I am starting a matchmaking show, Polly was like, cause I am putting myself out there. Yes, I am in, you know, <laughs> put my profile out there. Yes. So we are done with her love life. Let's go to some other important things about Polly that will help you to know if she is your match or not. So I asked Polly, how does she define love? Or if someone asked her, what is love, Polly? So let's hear her response. That is Polly's voice. How do I define love? With me, love, for me, love, I feel love is a very personal attachment. Should be a warm, meaning it when I feel something warm. You know, when you put on a warm cloth, you feel good. You feel you okay, you feel at peace. So for me, love is a warm personal attachment that comes with a lot of affection, appreciation, compassion, a lot of things. So yeah, that is my definition of love. So another important question that I asked Polly was, are you interested in interracial dating? Polly was like, yes, of course, I am interested in interracial dating. Then I asked, why? <laughs> why are you interested in interracial dating? Her answer was, she believes, she believes, or at least for what she has seen about interracial couples, if a guy is ready to love you, accept you, no matter the color of your skin, or how your body looks, you've got big behind or small behind, <laughs> but love you truly, that person is not a racist. And this person has got true love and won't see you as just a black girl. So that is why she is so interested in interracial dating. To you single guys out there interested in interracial dating, this is your chance to find your match. So guys, we continue with the questions. I asked her, are you ready to relocate? Was like, yes, Bella, I am ready to relocate 
for love so if i find a man that loves me truly and i love that man truly why not i can relocate so now to religion Polly says because she is a christian was born and raised in a christian family would love her much to be a christian because christian values are key to her so to Polly's character, how is Polly? <laughs> Polly says is honest, compassionate, self-disciplined, respectful, outgoing, and has got a great sense of humor. To her ideal man, this is very, very important. <laughs> so Polly's ideal man should be, should be intelligent, compassionate, supportive, caring, God-fearing, and has a great sense of humor like her. So to things that Polly can support in a relationship or can't tolerate. <laughs> Number one is a disrespectful man. Polly was like, if you are disrespectful, that is a big, big no for her. Number two, she can't tolerate if you are violent. That is a very big, big no to her. Number three, cheating. She can't support cheating at all, at all. It's a big, big no. So guys, to her expectations in a relationship. I remember recently I received a DM on my Instagram. There is this white guy is dating a Ugandan lady so much in love. So he was like, Bella, I would like you to talk about expectations on both sides. <laughs> so today we have got a chance to hear what some of our African sisters expect in a relationship okay so so i asked polly two these questions what are your expectations in a relationship she was like bella not a lot i'm such a simple lady for me i expect a guy to respect me in a relationship a guy to love me truly i expect a guy to be open with me so communication is key we should always talk so that our relationship can work so i don't have lots of expectations <laughs> yeah so because i wanted this to be fun not that boring i asked her this interesting question what are your best qualities as a woman her response was i'm a very intelligent woman kind honest supportive I support where I can and I'm very, very appreciative. My hobbies are cooking, traveling, reading books, and interior designing. Does she want to have kids? Yes, of course. Says at least two. So how old should be Polly's match? <laughs> Her match should start from 35 years old to 50 maximum so if you are in that range please please check me out write me a dm on instagram at african bella because i'm going to be a middle person before you get to poly we have to talk i get to ask you some questions and explain more better about poly whatever questions you will have you will want to know about poly <laughs> and i'll ask you questions that will help me understand too if you are Polly's match yeah so i asked her if she has got any preference where her man should come from because there is no crime in having a preference <laughs> right so the countries that she prefers her match to come from are germany switzerland poland sweden canada america australia denmark norway and italy but again, even if you are not from those countries and you feel like Polly is your match, don't hesitate to write to me on Instagram at African Bella in that account name there that you see. Who knows? We're gonna celebrate a wedding soon. <laughs> so friends, Polly ends her profile by saying that she believes that match is gonna be coming very soon 
because she prays every single day to find her match, to find that guy who will love her truly, to find that man who will treat her right, because she deserves that. So you two who is watching this video now, let us wish Polly all the best so that she can find her match, because she's such a kind, honest, beautiful, intelligent, a wife material <laughs> who deserves to find the husband. Yeah. <laughs> so girl, I wish you all the best and I am very, very positive that this video will bring your match. <laughs> yeah. So friends, this is the end of our today's match making show. I hope you enjoyed. You learned lots, lots of things. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. You're going to learn a lot. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Yes, and you is single, don't forget to check me out. These ladies are real. No one is fake here. Just like I explained in this whole video about this lady. So no one is trying to scam you. I wish I could have brought these ladies themselves, you know, to talk, but they are shy. Don't worry, <laughs> you'll be able to talk with them, you know, on a video call once you talk to me and we find out you are a match. Thank you so much once again. Don't forget to subscribe, join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.